Uh, Brandon, we went to a boarding school. You went for four years? Yeah. Yeah, I was five. and uh, They were the best of times. They were the worst, worst of times. They were just the worst <laughs> of times, let's be honest. Do you think there, <laughs> there wasn't too much good there? Where do you start with the, the, the boarding school? Like, what normally happens to me is that I meet somebody like in the pub or something. I went there and you end up in the corner and the two of you just talk for about two hours about an insanity of the place we went to boarding school in. I think we've tried to kind of uh, kind of create a kind of a similar atmosphere here, you know? Yeah. It's not fair to Patrick, you know? Uh, That's right. Think, Patrick's Day. Just lit, lit the turf fire. Many, many men and many women that are, are uh, recounting old tales today. Let's talk about the food in Finians. Well, there was a, wasn't very much of it, really, was there? On a, on, let's put tell people what it was like. People can't, like, when I tell people about what the food and things was like, they don't believe me. They think I'm lying. Do you remember we would have pizza on a Wednesday? Do you remember the pizza we would have? Well, yeah, first of all... Let's describe, the, the, like, the ref. The, 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 the refectory. The refectory, yeah. yeah. It was like, it was like a big, like, a ref, like, a, it's a little bit like... Like a prison like, canteen. Like in Harry Potter, like a yeah, big, yeah. long, a big, long, long hall. hall. with religious paintings. Religious paintings, a lot of them were kind of like dubbed with different the types potatoes. of bits of food and stuff stuck to them, yeah. <laughs> they were like proper, like, tw- so there, was a, there, was a, there was a replication of Leonardo da Vinci's Last Supper, I think, yeah. on the end of it. I know, I mean, it was like a, a 20 foot by 10 foot. It was like, they were big pieces of art. Every so often there would be a food fight when the, when the priest would, would like walk past, I remember... One evening, like, salad went flying all over the place and it was like, the, the, the picture of Jesus with his hands out like this and a, I, I, I think it was a slice of tomato landed on his hand or something. But, uh, not the food. The tables were kind of aligned uh, perpendicular and horizontal. On the outside, horizontal, yeah. Yeah. And I don't think I ever saw a priest eating there because the priests <laughs> had in their own, their own Roots, quarters. Yeah. They were on a separate corridor, quite a, quite a far ways away from. They had their own ref, ref, actually. They had a ref. They, yeah, they used to dine in a in a in a. In a they get different in an area beside beside the library and the, along a corridor which we weren't allowed to go down. Yeah, it was called the shining the, the shining corridor. So we used to call it or the Nick's corridor. What did we call it? The shiny. We did call it the shiny card, yeah, because it was buffed up. It was quite yeah, shiny. It was polished. Yeah. It was with this kind of polished linoleum. Yeah, yeah. But they they had this, this the tables in the ref were kind of there were there were some of them were very old. Oh, there was I remember some... there was a lot of people had like named their names kind of carved into. Do you remember how much to be to be rotting and food were... in the corner of the metal? Do you remember that? And we used to the metal of... ridge, and you get your knife and, and you'd, you'd squeeze it along the edge, and all this like waste. I don't know, gunk would yeah. just be like dried into it. It was manky. It was manky. And do you remember like how the, the knives and the forks would come and there would be dried food on your knife and forks. It wouldn't have been washed properly. The forks, the forks were as old as the, as they the were, tables yeah, because they like, were some of them had like the initials old. of some of the boys that had been there years before engraved in kind of in, nice, yeah. nice kind of font, nice copper plate kind of font on, and... and and the, I the, the pewter would the be gone off them, so it just felt like you were kind of, you had a, you know, a twopenny piece in your mouth, like they were, they were kind of, do you know, like sometimes Quite metallic. They, they kind of tasted like brass. Yeah, like know? blood. <laughs> and uh, Like licking pennies. Yeah, so I presume the boys used to have their own forks and their own cutlery. I reckon there must have been some of that. And we used to have this thing called the shit dish. Do you remember the shit dish? Yeah. Yeah, the, so you had the system was you'd have a prefect on each table and the t- prefect would go up to was the, there, was prefect, to the hatch. There was a prefect on the on either end of in, each table. Yeah, but only and then the the the, yeah, the big boys on either but end. Only one of them would go. Only one of them would go up and pick it up. Now these were these were like 16, 17, 18 year olds, yeah, and then yeah. we would be twelve year olds because we were twelve yeah, when we yeah, went yeah, there. Yeah. Some of us were eleven. Were you eleven? I know I was twelve. I was young. Just twelve. Yeah. And then they were kind of like they graduated in 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 heights and. Uh, from, from, from the outside tables. in outside in so you'd have fifth so the younger boys, boys third year second year first yeah. year yeah and then the food was got from the from the ref on either side you'd have like but it was only the one fellow went up it was only one end went up with the stuff but the but the, but the food would get distributed from the fifth years all first okay. then it would go fourth years then it would go third and yeah. second so a slice pan would arrive on either end of the table yeah it would get um, divvied out by the older boys yeah and you'd get 
you, something if you were lucky. Sometimes you get nothing. If you were lucky, you you might get a heel. Yeah. Because sometimes the heel could be kind of cut, cut, cut thick. Thin, and sometimes yeah. it could be if it could be cut. If it thick. cut thin, you'd be raging. You know, so it really like the first heel, the, the thick one. If it was a thick one, yeah, that went to an older boy. But yeah. like sometimes because they used to dish them out like cards, yeah. like kind of playing cards. You might be lucky, and you might it might be your turn. Well, it wasn't dished big, out. Thick heel at the it end. wasn't dished out like evenly like cards. It was like the fifth years would take whatever they wanted. The fourth years would take what they would want. Then it would be the third years, the seventh. And you years. get the bottom. Of and the you get like, and I remember like often in his in first year, like for breakfast, it was like there was me and two other first years, and it would usually only be two slices of bread for Gene three of us. So you'd kind of take turns, and one of you is getting a slice of bread. But the prefects would get. I remember when I was in fifth year, I used to take ten slices of bread every evening for me for my tea. I like when I was in first year, I'd probably get one or two if I was lucky. When you say bread, like it was like a slice, slice pan. Slice pan. Yeah, like yeah, white, yeah, White bread and there'd be a brown bread. There'd be the, a white bread and a brown bread. The bread kept us alive. The but bread then, was actually good quality bread. But the margarine was. was Wasn't like, it? was butter. Yeah, but, yeah, but it was. It was. It was. It was. It was. Was it, mar- it, was it was butter. It was butter. It was definitely butter. But we got so little of it. Do you know, like, you get a little, if you were in a, in a restaurant now, they give you a little kind of tinfoil wrapped piece of butter. It'd be like, you yeah. one, it'd be like that size. You'd, yeah. you'd have to do 10 slices of bread to get out of that. And you would get like a tiny little bit and you would try and get it over the full slice of the bread. And at the end, you might have half one of them and you'd have, and you go, oh, look, I've got, I can have real buttery slices. I forgot, now. The, margar- the margarine came in for the, the afternoon, afternoon tea. tea. Afternoon tea. That yeah. wasn't really butter. That was... I don't know what it was. It was like something. It was like custard. It was a kind of custardy kind of type coloured stuff. It was... I never went to that too often. Yeah. That's if you really... If you wanted to stock up... You were really if you starving. Wanted to, if you were really starving... You could go and get the stale... The stale bits of bread or bits that were bits half that were eaten. left over. Yeah. From, 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 from the night before. From the night before. Or, yeah. Uh, along with some homemade jam, which was... Let's be honest. It was like... It was like... That was like runny honey. No, it was, it was marmalade. Do you remember? We well, had these we pots. And marmalade, yeah. We had these pots on ta- on the table that would have marmalade, and they they would be open to the elements. It would be like a bowl, a, sil- a silvery steel bowl with, with with and it was open. There was no lid or anything on it, and so there'd be flies and moths and everything. And there'd be it. I remember it would be so disgusting. It would be dried in places, and there'd be. There could be mould, and you'd be trying to pick out the good bit. Do you remember trying to pick yeah, the good yeah, bit yeah, of the marmalade yeah. out? It was grim. But the shit dish would come. The prefect would go for dinner, say, and he would have a shit dish. He would. The shit dish was basically the spuds. Yeah. And he would come down with the shit dish, and yeah. he would take the spuds, and they would they, they'd go to the fifth years first, the fourth years, the third years. And then I remember the very first day I was in there, the, the fifth year sitting beside me was a Kinsler, I think was his name. And it was, there was me and... Who would it have been? Ollie Gaffney, I think, or somebody opposite me. We were the first years. And it was like, there was only two spuds left in the shit dish. One of them was like a horrible, waxy, small looking one. And then one of them was a massive looking they one. Could be, they could be really, they could be, some of them could be kind of like uh, soggy as well. Like it would be like like a stewed apple. A like, soap or something. They'd be, they'd be kind of like uh, slug holes in them. Yeah. And, uh, you know, by the time you'd actually cut off all, fucking, the, all, the, all, the, bits. all the bad bits, you might only end up with maybe Four half of what you started off. Oh, yeah, if you're lucky. Yeah. And I remember, your man, Kinsley, I was like, oh, fucking brilliant. I got managed to smash the ball before the, whoever else it was opposite me. And I, I, I was like, I went to pick the big one. And your man, Kinsley, nudged me and he said, I said, oh, don't go for the big one. And I was looking at him, I was going, he's taking the piss now. He's going to trick me into taking the small one. So I was like, I was like, fuck, I was like, fuck you. And I took the, the big one and I got my knife and it looked really fine. And I, and I cut it and I cut it in half and the middle of it was all rotten with black goo. Yeah. And it just, it just, just spread out all over all the rest of the yeah. food. And I was, like that was my apple. first dinner and I couldn't eat any of it. I was like, I was like, the, oh, the stories are true. All oh, the stories my brother was telling me about the food, I was like, fuck, he wasn't like... Yeah, they could be as soft as an avocado or they could be just completely uncooked. You just didn't know what, what, what you were going to get. Like, oh, yeah. man. But then, the I, don't need the, I don't think the kitchen staff were particularly well, well trained. Well, they, they, they hadn't gone to kind of like... Uh, the kitchen staff were all special needs people. Yeah, yeah they, did, to, they did their they best, but then but it seemed like sometimes they just didn't even stir a pot because... I remember the mince sometimes would yeah. come out and the spaghetti would come yeah. out and it would be, be clumps, with the mince would be, like, clumps. It could yeah. be like a kind of a fist, a fistful of like 
just it, it, it almost like a kind of like a like it, it almost like it was three quarters way towards becoming a, a burger and then the the spaghetti would just come out like it would be like 10, 10 15 strands would just stuck together. stuck together and hard yeah, yeah. and well the, 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 that's because the, they didn't stir the pot like oh yeah well the, the women that were there there was a there was a there's a mental home we went to, a place it was called St. Finian's in Mullingar and the opposite side of St. Finian's across the town was St. Lomans and St. Lomans was the mental hospital mm. and the mental hospital was kind of like a mental hospital probably I wouldn't doubt if there was I think I think it's true that there was like kind of like a what was that Magdalena laundry kind of thing where there was like women that had were, children out of wedlock that were committed there were, were, were institutionalised women who, who, who probably should have been living in the community and working in the community but instead they were they were seemed to be kind of almost like um, wedded to St Finian's and they were no but the ones that we were, that, were, that came to St Finian's were the most of them were yeah. special needs they had yeah. you know learning disabilities yeah. you know some of them very some of them were very severe yeah. and, and, and basically the college God, the Finians was so cheap. Like, remember how like there was no like it must have been the cheapest boarding school what, what, in the whole country the by far. The know. fees were about a thousand. I I I got scholarship, but yeah. I think it was about a thousand a year. Around. Like and not everybody was like when you think of boarding schools. Not every like they weren't posh. They weren't. Yeah. Well, I mean, they were they were like mix. They, they were posh in the sense that the pe- people people's parents had to be working and 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 that. No, yeah. But there was a lot of. Farmers and not particularly farmers. well off farmers. Yeah, no, far, small and a lot of people farmers whose, and whose parents would have teachers and farmers and a lot of people whose parents would have been uh, maybe even working in in factories and yeah in, yeah in, yeah in, in no, particularly shops, high like wage yeah Pe- but also people's parents who maybe didn't do a leave and search or maybe just left definitely people whose parents might have gone on to third level education and taught that by sending their kid to uh, yeah. Uh, to a hellhole, a hellhole, which, which had good, which had good teachers. No, it, 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 it had good, it had, it had, had good, good education. Like, and in certain in certain areas, it yeah. excelled, like with yeah, science yeah, and things yeah. like that. But but there, obviously there had to be a cost saving somewhere, and and that's really one of the way, one of the one of the places where they oh, definitely man. could have applied. They could have applied. They could have given us a lot more uh, nutrients, heat, and oh, a lot yeah. more food. So oh, yeah, Don't, like. To put it into context for people li- like listening or like American or from wherever, like a thousand pound at the time. Say that, say for example, if you were to compare that to like what would have been like the more posh, actual posh boarding schools like Black Rock or Clongos or St. Gerard's or these, yeah. they would have been five to ten grand a year. Like nowadays they would be like, I think Black Rock is probably like seven or eight grand a term. Mm, yeah. Okay. To put it into to context, is yeah. like they would have been a, a, a fifth of the price of a normal, like of an actual yeah. kind of posh boarding school. Because the the school we were in was like what we being called a diocesan, diocesan school, so boarding school, which would have been feeder. They would have been basically subsidised by the by the diocese for feeder school for priests from the new college. Like yeah, yeah. Or, or for getting getting getting. Bobbers who become the priesthood would go to a boarding school like we did. Yeah. That's the kind of that was what and they were we, back in the day. We went there in. Uh, we started in nineteen eighty nine. Eighty nine. Yeah, and there would have been would have been maybe two or three priests, maybe Every year. Two, or, two or three, not priests, but two or three people who went on to to be a to the seminary. Yeah. Every year, which like, I think at that time would, would have been, been good going. Yeah. Just at a time when the even church, our year we had the church was probably on a, on on the wane. Yeah. It was on the back foot, like in Ireland, so. We had like there was one in our class. Out of a sixty-one went on to the priesthood, Dennis. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that there was another gentleman who went on from our class, whose father, or sorry, whose older brother was also. Oh, Ollie. Ollie. No, he didn't. Did he? I thought he went on, and his brother. His brother no, his was older was... brother did. Pat. His older brother did. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's get back to this food. The food, like the the the, the, the shit dish would come with the spuds, but the the dinners were so bad that what would happen is. Most of them would get slopped back into the empty shit dish, yeah. and so then the prefect would have to bring the shit dish back up to the hatch. And what they would do is they would pick out from the shit dish bits that they could salvage, like a bit of turnip or a bit of pineapple. Sausages. Or something. There were sausages, sausages that were re- that were obviously picked off. Oh, the and and but once a week, the sausages have... looked like they were quite big, like they were a bit like yeah. big horses, willy. Like I mean, they were kind of you know. What did you say? I... <laughs> 
<laughs> I haven't seen too many horses with us, but like they were, they were big, like they were big, like they were bangers. You're always out in the fields looking at them. <laughs> they were like bangers, you know. Yeah. And uh, and we used to get them with beans. I remember yeah, we got yeah, them with yeah. beans. And what? And what else? Do you not remember they used to take the stuff out and use all the salvage stuff as the meals were very, The meals were very set. Like there was every day hey, there was you a, there, it was, you was, yeah. a different thing. And then Fridays we used to have the fish Salad. cakes. Do you remember the fucking fish yeah, cakes? Yeah, fish cakes. You could never eat one. Fish Did you ever fish eat a fish cake? I'd eat fucking almost fucking anything. I'd eat I'd, anything. I'd, and I, and that's, that's a lasting legacy from St. Finian's. I, I don't cock up my nose at anything of a daughter no. six years old. And I, whatever she leaves on the table, I have to hoover. I can't dump anything. Literally, I, I, eat the, I eat the I food off never, my kid's face. That's I never, how bad I, I never, I may have tried, if, I never finished one. Because they were like, there was, there were, like you pick one up, like, I mean, there was like just grease stripping off them. Oh, like, they were just, it was just inedible. I mean, literally inedible. But that I was, was every Friday, because it was a, there was a church observance, like Friday I, fish cakes. I would say, the seven days of the we week. Used that, we used to have them with rice. We used to have them with rice, and then there was some with peas. Fuck, there was God peas God. in them. And pineapple, and, 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 and turnip. Peas, and, no, peas, and, and sweet corn. And, and a fish cake. Yeah, there was And really I used to eat disgusting. the peas and sweet corn, and never fucking... And yeah, like I'd say, if there was seven, there was pizza. The pizza came in on a kind of a, it on was Wednesday homemade pizza with no base. Well, no, it was a, it was a soggy base laid but out I mean, what with I, stuff that they had salvaged probably, from the shit dish. Yeah, but it was probably pastry, just pastry, wasn't it? it wasn't yeah, yeah, yeah. Rolled like pastry, the, but the onions, really there could be a bit of turnip on it, a half-eaten bit of a fish cake, mm. and always loads of onions. They must have, they yeah. just had. A, they never seemed to have been short of an onion. Oh man, I remember. And then they were they were kind of they were fried. They were so onions. soggy you couldn't eat anything. Only if you were lucky, you got an edge bit where you could eat that would actually have been cooked. You were like eating raw dough. It was so it was tomato puree put over the top of the of the pizza. Slice. I don't know what. And they were cut into squares. I remember that. Yeah, like a yeah. square. But then you could be unlucky. And you mightn't even get the square. You mightn't even get the full square. I actually, I could eat the pizzas now. The pizzas weren't nice. But then very few people knew I what a pizza ate. looked like in our never in the 80s pizza. anyway. Yeah. I, I, but like, what? but sometimes you get the corner of one and then you'd end up with fucking half of what the guy next to you would have. Yeah. And that was just hard luck. Like. Yeah. But that would be, if you got the corner, it'd be better because at least it could be cooked. Like, they, they were disgusting. Like, there was about... I'd say if there was seven different meals of the week, you'd that's, probably that's be able tree. to eat two you of them. You mentioned tree. Like, there, was, there was beef there was on a Sunday. Spaghetti bolognese with, it, with italics because, like, yeah, that was, like, just the mince and... And, uh, and I don't know what type of the, mince that was. Like, that was probably it, it, knackered horses. And and pasta, right? But that doesn't really I make spaghetti bolognese yeah. because there should be things in it, like there should be mushrooms in it. There yeah, should yeah. be, like, some kind of a I can't even really sauce. remember it too much. I don't even remember there was... I don't think there was even any sauce in it. I don't think there was that. sauce on no. But mince and and, and, and and pasta, which was pretty much in a ball. I, if you were lucky, yeah. If you were lucky, you get the top of the sauce done, right? So it was kind of it was coming out in a you know, it was been served up to you by a prefect. Yeah. And they would always look after the maids first anyway. Yeah. And as a twelve year old, thirteen year old, fourteen year old You were starved. You were usually served up last. Yeah, yeah. So all the kind of the the big the worst. Uh, Clumps. The clumps were, yeah, they were yours. I do remember, uh, do you remember, like, the, the soup? The soup was so bad. Well, the turnip. Yeah. The soup was so bad. And on a Monday, you might get vegetable soup, and it'd be so gloopy, it would have the consistency of, say, tomato ketchup. Mm. And then it would be so in over, it would just be very hard to eat, and you could only eat half it. The prefect would kick, take back the remnants, and he would slap it back into the jug. He'd bring it back up. Tuesday, you would get soup, it was an a urn. bit more it runny. A, it was the urn, wasn't yeah. it? What was it called? Yeah. No, the urn was the tea. That was the jug. And uh, yeah. it, would, it would come back, on Tuesday then you'd get the soup, and it would be well, kind of a more soupy consistency. But again, it wouldn't be very nice, and you'd struggle to eat it. And by so the end of the... By the water to it. They, yeah, they'd come yeah. back, and the yeah. third day yeah. it would be like croutons yeah. floating yeah. in a bit of water. And, yeah. like, and so you'd have soup for three days, it'd be either... Vegetable, disgusting, or do you remember the other one which was, came out like gravy, which was oxtail soup? Do you remember the brown stuff? The brown stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was been horrendously bad. Oh, teeth. I, I'd shaved, I'd shaved a lot of these memories now, and you're just, you're just digging, you're just digging. And we got a dish of turnips up. as well. Do you remember the dish of turnips? And no one could eat these turnips. They were just manky. They were the, they were the school turnips that were yes, growing was, in the field behind. Sent around to, yeah, to pick them. We picked them, yeah. I remember finding a Victorian penny in in when we went one time when we went out like uh, digging digging turnips or pulling turnips. We didn't dig them; we pulled them. But I remember finding uh, 
because they were in drills. Yeah. At the back of the football. Yeah, back, back of the back handball, handball at least. Yeah. Did we get off study to do that? Oh, what we, how, how yeah, did it rings a bell. I think they only did that in the first few years we were there, and then they. I didn't do it often. No. We, we did do it. Yeah. Yeah. Trying but you could see that. you could see that they weren't particularly well. Tended. Growing. Like no, I mean, they were half these kind of like like black withered stalks on them and stuff. You, like I'm not a farmer, but you just you knew that this wasn't a wasn't a. This wasn't a very well cared for for a tended crop, and also there was an awful lot of visibly there was an awful lot of slugs in them. Do you remember um, the, the ketchup bottles? <laughs> Do you remember the tomato sauce bottles? No. They were plastic, and they had they were like candy or something on them. They're like the ones you get in the chipper right. van, but like they would have tomato sauce, but they would thin it with vinegar. Do you remember it'd be really runny? Right. And you'd pour it on your plate, the tomato sauce, and it would run out. Like it was a cup of tea. So it was trying to fucking get away. <laughs> it would drown your plate. And they, were, and they were just the same one. And they probably had them, uh, they were the same ones for the five years I was there. Mm. And I never had them with tomato sauce in them. I don't know how did, did they buy a bottle in like 1984 and then constantly just tin it down. I don't know how they did it. My brother Seamus, when he was, he said one time at the table, he mm. went to, somebody went to pour the tomato sauce. And when they grabbed the tomato sauce, some kind of chemical reaction happened within the bottle and yeah. it just started like like a volcano it started yeah. erupting and he said they left it there and for the entire time they were at the table it was just bubbling and frothing over and god knows what was in it food was but there was no chips we were there were no chips or anything that were potato slices they were actually yeah. okay if you got like they weren't too bad they weren't too bad yeah, I the, mean, t- the evening meal was much better than the than the than the yeah. dinner i think i was only able to eat two dinners a week it was the beef on a Sunday. Beef was on a Sunday, Sunday, and then there was cabbage with that, wasn't there? And I'd say it was probably their own cabbage. I can't remember. I think remember there was the cabbage. cabbage. Yeah. Uh, it was a beef slice, yeah, that's yeah, right. That was, yeah, that was the best one. And Quite thin, but like, yeah. uh, and, and usually. Uh, it wasn't inedible, like it, no. and it wasn't disgusting. And you could get. It was the, gravy. We, we had gravy. We could. Sometimes you'd get a, like a, your fry, you might get some. That's when the, the bacon. Do you remember the hairy bacon? Do you remember the rashers? We get a fry every so often. You get like maybe one rasher and a sausage the, and some the, beans. And the, in yeah. the rashers came from they kept pigs as well, but they wouldn't shave the pigs, so there would be hairs sticking out of the it fat. Definitely rings a bell. But there was gammon as well. We had oh, a gammon, the gammon, you could see gammon steak, and it was yeah. like you know, that was horrible. It looked like you'd bounce off the floor, like yeah, you know, it was, yeah. It was like you a kid's had a plastic. pineapple, pineapple slice on that. That was probably sub- that's what that's why you get that banana, the, the pineapple slice. That would be it would be contaminated with the inedible gammon, wouldn't be able to eat them, and that would be put in the shit dish, and the pineapple would be taken out and used in the pizza. On the pizza, and they would keep yes. it for six yes, days. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And also those the sweet corn and the peas could end up on the pizza as well. Oh yeah, yeah. I think part of the same batch. I think I remember seeing a bit of burger with teeth mark. You know, like a bit. Well, a bite I think of the burger. whole thing was taught out to the point that they probably knew that if. People didn't like. We were there for two weeks at a time. Yeah, you know, if kids didn't get like uh, like vitamin C, I don't think we ever got. You think they thought out what they were doing? Well, I'm just saying, like the pineapple was probably there to prevent scurvy, and like you can get scurvy. I got the only know? time in my yeah. life I ever got but I constipation think, I, was yeah. I got severe constipation when I was in fourth year. Yeah, but I don't ever remember being given an apple or or a banana. No, I could be wrong there. No, I don't think that was on the menu. Think, I don't think it was ever a piece of fruit. In five years, I don't think I ever got a piece of fruit. Or a plum or a raspberry or a... No, there was nothing. Nothing even an apple. Even a fucking blueberry. Do you remember how hungry we used to be? Yeah, Graham was into into the SAS or something and he bought like a survival handbook. And it was all these things you could eat. And so we were like going around eating like elderberries and halls and stuff. Do you remember that? I remember eating a few slows now, I don't know. Slows? Slows? You can't eat slows. Well... Like they're... Well, you can roll them around in your... Your tongue. They have an incredibly disgusting. Yeah. Charlie Chaplin used to eat the same sweet. He was he went to an orphanage, but I think he was he was given a sweet for Christmas. What he used to do with it was he used to suck it at night for about maybe twenty seconds, and then yeah. he'd, he'd spit it out, and then he'd wrap it up, and he'd put it under his pillow, and he could then he could go back to it then the next night, and and suck it a little bit more, and he managed to get like about a month out of the same sweet. Do you remember uh, speaking about stuff like that? Do you remember how? cold we'd be in uh, when we were in the infirmaries in third year yeah. and we used to Fill an up empty seven up bottles bottle with piss we used to piss bottles. in it do you remember 
I didn't piss in that water. No, well, was I, I used to feel like because the water at night could be could, could be could be could be warm warm. No, it used to get very cold by morning because it was the water was always cold during the day. But then yeah. at night time, I think they turned it on. I, I wouldn't think it'd be that hot. I think you might get lucky and get a bit. I don't know if we had hot showers. Water. We had showers out in the pavilion. In the pavilion, we had showers. That's only for people that we did sport. You could go and have a shower. You didn't have to play a game. You could go and have a shower. I can tell now that you didn't. But like you, no, you could. No, like there was wash hand bases. I remember washing myself, like you yeah, know, like yeah. giving yourself, like you'd strip down to your your, your underpants, Pants. and then you'd be, uh, you'd wash yourself with a flannel, and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah that. with but, a face cloth, yeah, yeah. But I mean, it wasn't the case that you know you got up every morning and had a shower. Or in the no, evening, or had no, a shower no. once a month, once a week. I you I might go to the uh, infirmaries or to the pavilion. But should the pavilion wasn't even in that block. The pavilion was outside. No, yeah, you'd have a towel and you. So go. what I'm trying to say is, you couldn't. So you couldn't go and go have a shower like at night, like no, or whatever no, before, no. or in the or in the morning or in the evening. Would it, if unless you were? It's the nineteen eighties, the nineteen nineties, Brendan. We only had a shower once that a week, pavilion, that and pavilion. that wasn't until we were fourteen or fifteen. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the pavilion wasn't even built until the nineteen seventies anyway. So uh, probably that's the way we were doing it. Was the way that everybody had always done it. The way that the priests that went there that were in yeah. charge of us had done it when they were in the school as well. So I remember. I remember Flanagan used to piss into an empty cure bottle and to keep him warm as a hot water bottle and he offered you do you want a drink well, one I, night? I, I, I think you, I, you ner- I think I, you drank a bit of his piss out of the I, bottle you I thought it was I, like, Yeah, well again, like I mean there's I don't know if I've just uh blacked, it out. blacked that one out, but I do when you meant when you mention it, it it seems I remember something happening with a bottle of piss, like yeah. It was the, oh, yeah, that's what you said, because it was warmer than the warm, I don't think there was warm water in the nights in the in the sink, I don't think so. It used to be so cold in the... I it was very cold, and you were beside the, the window, window. You, you had a really bad deal with the window kind of... Uh, it used to open in the middle of the night. There were sash windows, yeah. and there were, there were single pane. And, you remember, you could uh, stick your finger, it rotted at the bottom, you could stick your finger mm-hmm. underneath the pane, between the wood and the pane, it was that rotted. Yeah. And the weights in, in the, the weights in the, in the sash window... So that, you know, if a normal sash window, you can open it halfway, it'll stay where it is because it's properly weighted. Yeah. But the weights over the years, or I think the wood had rotted away so much, the weights were the wrong weight now for the thing. So it was on a hair trigger. Like if you just tipped it with your hand so like that, the door it could just slam up to the top. Up, yeah. And in the middle of the night, it would open on its own. And like, you know, you might be fast asleep, it might wake you, it might not. One night, it fucking snowed in the window on top of me. I remember I woke up and my face was like one of my eyes. When I opened my eyes, one of my eyes stayed shut because it was like frozen. It was were we a lot, so were we cold. A lot of beds or I, I don't think so. I think you were a lot of room, and then you decided you decided which bed you wanted to go to. I took the window, didn't I? Well, I fucking need it. I don't know because I remember people like the first day we got back, like after at the start of term. Yeah, yeah. You, you'd uh, there was a bit of a race up to the dormitories as soon as we were, you know, we'd say goodbye yeah. to our parents or whatever, and people used to bear arse the beds. Do you remember that? What? You'd bear arse the bed and you'd bear arse the, oh, the pillow. Oh, so you'd, you'd do bear, so you'd, yes. Yeah, you'd bear arse the pillow and you'd bear arse the mattress. Yeah, so you'd basically rub your candles on them so no one else would take well, them. Arse, I don't know, you could do whatever you wanted. <laughs> but then you, it was like marking your territory. And yeah. then, so you could, you know, you, you, you'd you know uh, who you'd be sleeping next to or beside. Yeah. But you were beside the window. I mean, yeah, I, 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 got, I got the idea. worst job. I got the worst one because I was beside the prefect. The prefect. You weren't was, beside the prefect. I was beside Barry, yeah. No, you were talking about first year. Okay, first, first year. year. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. And he had yeah. a fucking... Uh, he was a on vicious the, fucker. Turning on and off the fucking night for him when he came in to get undressed at night. Like So he'd be outside with his mates talking yeah, in the corridor. Yeah, yeah. We'd all have to be inside completely quiet yeah. because if there wasn't quietness... At a certain time of the night, the priest used to come down the corridor and he used to click. Do you remember yeah, that? the priest would come and click and there'd be lights click, out. Click, click, and then there was lights yeah. out. Yeah, or if there was too much talking, they would click. So the Knicks, we call the Knicks as the priests. So there was like, the priests would come around and they'd click. But like, do, do you know why they were called the Knicks was because it was like the old Nick, the devil. And they were called, that's where they, that's why they were called the Knicks. Did you know that? And then the, the, the principal at the school was called the Rod. The Rod, yeah. We had the Rod, Biggles, uh, Rambo, Tractor. <laughs> uh, Bradley who actually when I was best man for my friend's wedding he was actually doing the the yeah. wedding he was you know yeah. he, he was still down, an asshole at the highest point of view it's orchestra I heard since so yeah. <laughs> not, the, not the sharpest knife in the truck oh man he's taking some brick I remember one time he called out there was two cousins two brothers and they were identical twin brothers and I remember they were called something like Bevan and Crevin mm. and he came out and he called one of them out from class and 
he wanted to like give out to them and he a- he asked the guy he says he goes Mr. Bagley he says are you you or are you your brother <laughs> you, you can, oh, any time any time that you'd be uh, you'd be called out on, on some on some point that he'd uh, he'd click his fingers and you'd turn around and say yeah yes father and then he'd uh, he wouldn't have he wouldn't have thought that far ahead like to what he was going to say next yeah. and then the head would going to go sideways and uh, he'd look at you with a kind of quizzical look and then you'd be kind of waiting waiting for them to make the kind of the the wheels the wheels to start turning you know Mr. Fagan Mr. Fagan he'd be trying to figure out your name I suppose yeah that's it yeah. He, yeah when I met him again but he, he was a dean there was two deans yeah everybody else was, tractor. All, the, all the other people were all the other priests were higher, they were older yeah teachers weren't they and some were there kind of some kind of retired or retiring kind of we had the the yip. We had a nun called the sim, yip. Sim, 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 uh, yeah. Who was a very, very, yeah. very strange, eccentric. I think she had, us, she had us doing. Mm-hmm. She had us doing Shakespeare in first year. She had us doing, doing like Macbeth, Macbeth at twelve. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, none was. She was energetic. She was enthusiastic. Yeah. She uh, was so mad. I remember one time. This is the type of thing she would do. She would come in and she'd be doing the class, and then she would say, "She go." Whoosh, whoosh, and everybody would have to shut up for a second. And then she'd go over and she'd open the door of the class and she'd open it and she'd say, Be gone, evil spirits! Be gone! And she'd go, whoosh, like this. And then she'd go over and she'd close the door again and then just continue on. Do you remember that? She was as mad as a brush, wasn't yeah, she? Yeah, she was fucking mad. She us, I think she showed us Polanski's Macbeth as well, didn't she? Did I she? remember seeing that, yeah. I think it was her, yeah. God. Which I'm sure isn't isn't isn't, isn't 12, yeah, 12, 12 year old <laughs> twelve year olds probably child buggery and stuff going on. I've well, known Plansky. The, the witches scene, yeah, where they're all kind of there's a few uh, topless topless witches kind of stirring the pot, isn't there? Isn't something something witches, in it? Yeah, yeah definitely yeah. left a mark. Yeah, yeah. Your prefect in first year talking about like there was a strict seniority. He was a he was a he sadist. was he was a yeah. sadist. He t- 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 if, if he used he fancied himself too. Like I mean, he fancied himself as a bit of a kind of a Bruce Lee kind of a type of a character. He, he was always walking around with no top on. Was he? Yeah. In 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 your yeah. And uh, yeah, he, he was, was a big he was a big lad. Like was, I mean, like he, compared compared to the rest of us. Like I mean, you're, you're twelve. He was you're he was seventeen like, and you're twelve. You're twelve. It's a big he, age difference. He would beat the shit out of you. But guys. Jason would have been. There would have been one or two people like in our dorm. How for, many were there in our dorm? There was like it was it was six seven or seven. Or seven, seven, seven yeah, I think, and you and him. And but Jason kind of used to put it up to him like, yeah. a little bit. He, we were cheeky. We were a bit cheeky. But he was a and he I did, was, I did, he was a pure I probably, did, I probably did fall in for a little bit of the bit of the trouble that I got into. But at the same time, the 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 punishments were were sadistic. Were, yeah, they were really like, sadistic. You take the you take the, the mattress, mattress off, off your the bed. bed. You make you kneel on the bed springs. Now what yeah. is it? Like but, the, there were kind of like it was a lattice of different types of, 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 of metal. Like, you would say like uh, coat hangers, you know, that you get from like uh, dry cleaners. It was that kind of yeah. Thick. It was you weren't like kneeling on wooden lattice. Or whatever. No, were, no, this was metal. Spring, there it were springs. springs kind of, s- yeah, fifty, sixty yeah. beds, and you'd be kneeling on them, and you might have a hurling stick in one hand and a tennis racket in the other, and you'd you'd make. You would do make little it, circles. More often than not, you'd be just on your knees. But yeah. then if you did something really bad, like you'd, you'd just kind of like make you kind of... Or if he was just in a bad mood. Just, he was when a I say really bad, like, I mean, I mean talking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. You know, t- or whispering. Because, yeah. I mean, you wouldn't be kind of... You wouldn't be trying to get caught either, but, you you know, you might be up to sleep. Yeah, yeah. You're fucking 12 Bored. years of age. Like, yeah. you know, it's it's nine o'clock. You know, maybe... Uh, no, it'd be half. It'd be after 10. It would be after 10. 10, okay. Yeah, okay yeah, right, yeah. 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 He used to. Ju- he used to. I remember he used to jump on your springs when you'd be kneeling on them. And then you, you, with the tennis racket, you'd have to kind of make these small circles with one hand, and maybe uh, the other hand maybe a hurling stick. And if you dropped your arm, then he'd be behind you with one of these with a with a towel. Yeah, and which you kind of coil up, right? Yeah. He used to call it a rat's tail. Yeah. And he'd, he'd flick it at you like, and uh, that'd be really painful. It could, leave, it could leave a mark on your Yeah, yeah. yeah. He used to get you. I remember he got you one time. I think it was you, and you'd be kneeling on the windowsill, a tin windowsill. So yeah. you'd be constantly trying, you'd be falling back, yeah. but you'd have to push yourself forward. Yeah, or... I was kneeling on the windowsill, yeah. 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 And uh, that was for a few nights in a row. <laughs> that, do you know why? Do you know why I got that one? Yeah. Because I didn't, I said to him, fuck off, I'm not turning on the light for you yeah. anymore. I was yeah. like, when you come in late at night, like you're, yeah. you're basically disturbing my sleep. Yeah. I have to stay awake until you come in and yeah, I start yeah. finishing, finish talking with your mates yeah, yeah, inside yeah. in the court. He didn't have to go to bed any particular yeah, yeah, time. Yeah. All the senior boys could kind of hang out yeah, and, yeah. and chat and he'd come in and he'd click his fingers 
and I had to switch on this this light for him yeah. to get undressed. Like I was like, "Fuck it, do it yourself." Yeah. And he got really indignant about it. And then he, he made me kind of sleep by uh, sit, uh, me on the windowsill. Man, he, I remember he, like he he bet the shit out of Jason one mm. night with a tennis racket. I mm. remember mm. He, like, the whole all the all the all the could that. hear him. And he bet that. him fucking. I remember that. He bet he he bet a twelve year old with a tennis racket. Yeah. Bad. He used to beat him yeah. with, and Higgins got the worst of it. He used to yeah, bet him with a, with a belt as well. If you a good few times, but I, from I remember, I don't know if you remember that he had a belt no, with a buckle was, on it. No, and he was him. completely off. off he the, was off, off the, the fucking cards. rockers. Yeah, he was. But then I think some of the other prefects, I think maybe maybe even may have said it to him. You know, just to kind of they must have known. Like, how can we how can we describe him? Spock. Spock. That's right. That was, yeah. yeah. His name is Spock. But he had no earlobes. I remember that. He was actually a fucking weird looking fella. I know I was saying earlier yeah, on, like, yeah, he, was kind yeah. of, he was kind of a big guy and whatever. Yeah, but yeah. Was also he wasn't big, that big, he was just older than us. But he had a very funny head. And another thing about him, he's, um, yeah, he had fucking really long nipples. Remember that? I don't remember he that. Had fucking <laughs> really, really, like, a, like, like weirdly long nipples. And he's always walking around the place with no shirt on and no earlobes. I don't think the two were connected. But I don't know. <laughs> um, they must have known like, him, Yeah, so. well, my brother was one of them, but... Uh, yeah, yeah. But even, like, yeah, my brother would put it, like... No, well, I mean, like... Corporal like, punishment in, 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 was in, completely in, endemic. No, in, in, in our in turn, we would, yeah. have, we would have been prefect. Well, I would have been I'm, prefect. Yeah. You were a prefect. I was I a left, prefect, I left yeah, after, yeah. after after third... Fourth year. Fourth year. Yeah, yeah. Because what happened, like, in first year, you're kind of in a small group, then you've got the prefects over... In yeah. That, s- second year, you get into the little little dorm, don't you? Uh, the small... The, the, the small dorm. No, no, big dorm, big dorm. Big dorm, but then the the, the smaller kids and were brothers. On side. If you had a brother, you'd be in a room. It was, it was, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was that's right. I was in Macaulay. That was funny because the priests just come into the big dorm then yeah. in the morning, and then there'd be a kind of an inspection, almost like kind of in the, the military. military. Oh, you'd totally. you'd, you'd yeah. stand by your locker, and you'd stand yeah. by your your bed, your bed and make sure, sure it was it was made. And unfortunately, I was I was in with a kind of a fellow who didn't really kind of take take his, take his uh, his hygiene too seriously. So it'd be like bits of orange peel and stuff like that. Um, and I mean, you know, look, uh, you know... Why would you just throw them on your side? They probably would, would he? You have to kind of explain seniority as well. Yeah, because yeah. sometimes you didn't you didn't choose who you were going to buddy up with. It was just like, oh, I was Fagan, yeah. he was he was Ennis. Yeah, or Sash It was it normally was imposed. It was normally imposed. Nice lad, but um, yeah, he, he did. He, did, he didn't really... Uh, didn't clean up uh, after himself as well as he should have. Yeah. Because we were moved into a room then. I think by third year, I think we moved yeah, into a room yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we 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 got we used to get a lot of stick yeah. for just not having a very tidy room. Yeah. He was running the bookies at the time, and there'd be kind of racing yeah. pages all over the floor. Yeah. And uh, you know, he it was a very unsuccessful book bookmaker because <laughs> the, the the older lads would come down, they'd place the bets. Like he, he was he was kind of from Quebec and kind of very. Mm. I suppose he probably from his dad. He probably knew a little bit about the form of, I'm, but he should never have gone out because he, yeah. he didn't have the money to back it up. So yeah, yeah. if if he if somebody had a win, he probably would have struggled to pay out. So they used to come in and beat the shit out of him. And then <laughs> if he lost, he didn't have the money to pay out. So they come in and beat the shit out of him. So he's just always getting the shit beaten. <laughs> like like they come in like and they like they have like a like a pillow like you know kind of you know. Or or, or 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 maybe some clothes like you know in a in a pillow slip and yeah. then they'd kind of tie knot and just wet and whack whip them them over the yeah, head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You'd be in bed, like you'd sleep. Yeah. And yeah. you just kind of you can walk <laughs> it up with just been attacked by by a bunch of eighteen year olds. Yeah, yeah. Those uh, And I'd ask them to stop, like, you know, I mean it'd be kind of like sick, but I mean I wasn't gonna intervene, like I mean, yeah, you just yeah. get fucking you could get There's a few times I used to get fucking hit. Yeah. Just because <laughs> you fucking he'd room. he'd fucking lost my I had no interest in horse, I didn't know fucking one in horse the other. And then he'd get beaten up, and then just for good measure, to give me a few whacks, basically just to tell me, don't fucking tell anybody else about this. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's all because I was an alphabetical, I, oh, you know, we, we, we names that were kind of similar. The, uh, the like, getting for the, back to seniority, like, like, it was, seniority in there was everything. Like, if you were a, a second year, you could order around the first year, and if you were a third year, you could order around the second year, and so on, to the extent that, like, a fifth year could he take all the food he wanted to and leave like a first year with nothing if he wanted. There's nothing you could say or do. Like you couldn't go to the priest or anything. There was nothing you said. I remember the first time I didn't didn't really know about seniority and it was like my first week there. And I think I, I don't know who it was, it might have been you or something. We went to tr- 
play a game of uh, squash down in the handball That's right, you get kicked off the squash course you get mm. kicked off the tennis course yeah. you get kicked like, off you get everywhere kicked off, you get kicked off the there was a pitch and puck course yeah there. kicked off that like uh, I remember this asshole Coyle I don't know if you remember him and he came down and we were playing a game in the squash court and he came down and says yeah get off I was like oh, what do you mean get off you know I was 12 yeah. <laughs> like, he was like get off yeah I'm, I'm second year get the fuck off the court and we were like no, we're we're playing here, and he's like, "Get the fuck off!" And he's like, "I'm your se- seniority." We're like, "What?" And he didn't even want to play. He just kicked us off and just sat down in the, yeah, in the squash was, court just to piss you off. Like. Yeah, it was it was uh, it was mm-hmm. kind of like a legal a legal form of caste. Bullying. It was yeah, a legal caste. caste system, man. No, but particular, I used to kind of miss out on the on the, the food. table tennis. Table tennis. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. table tennis. I used to kind of we used to play a lot of table tennis. But you get fucked off that too. Yeah, but nothing you could play if you were a first year. You just get. And I remember. Do you remember like the first week, like as well as like when you when we were in second year, the first week we were in second year, we were like, there was seniority even in like beating up somebody, like you could just beat up somebody who was a younger year than you. And they weren't really supposed to fight back. And we used to go around hunting first years. Do you remember that? We used to hunt them. We used to go around in packs and going, let's find some first years, let's go and beat the shit out of them. And we find them and we just kick the crap out of them and leave them. I don't remember kicking the crap out of first years. We did! I don't Do you not remember, remember Tyke Jr.? Tyke who? We just, Tyke, remember there was, like, he was a prefect and his younger brother was Tyke I told, as well. I told, like, I we told, after him and we just, we just get them and we just give them, we just beat the crap out of them. And then we just go off and just go, just hunt them for first years. We used to hunt for them for the first <laughs> month. We literally hunted for them. That was the, that was all we, we did. Getting, you were getting blooded for a, for a job as a prefect down the, down the fucking line. right. There was because you got so shot on so much when you're in first year. You just were going, I can't fucking wait a second yeah, year. Yeah, I'm yeah, going yeah, to beat yeah. the shit out of somebody. Yeah. Well, that is true. We were at the bottom of the rung, like, and you were you were treated like shit, and you were made feel like shit at a time when you were actually at your most vulnerable. When you think like twelve, yeah, like you I mean you're you're Lads not to be crying you're not brim- sleep. You're not brimming with confidence at twelve years of age, like you know, and then. To be kind of like made feel like so, you know, insignificant. Oh yeah, just it's, you're absolutely yeah. worthless. When you're trying to deal with like life in an institution, you know, and you're not even a teenager. Yeah. You're just on the cusp of becoming you're a teenager. You're a kid. Like, put into context, like, I remember like for the first two or three weeks when we were there, there was like, there was there was only three in our... In I our... wonder we used to like the fucking church so much, like, because at least it was, it was a place where you were safe. Mm. You were actually safe... <laughs> You were safe if you were in the church. You weren't going to get fucking beaten up. <laughs> That's like, true. Yeah. Dude, like, I remember fell in, in, the do- in my dorm. It was a small dorm I was in. My brother was my prefect in first year, which was like a blessing and a curse. Because, like, he'd have to be harder on you than other lads to show that he wasn't being softer mm. on you. Mm. <laughs> but uh, uh, Rodney, he, he, like, for the first two or three weeks, he cried himself with homesickness to sleep every night. That was normal for first years. Yeah, the seniority was was mad, and they and could actually, take your tuck as well. Take your you food. Did, you did your little box, and most yeah. people had a box, and your parents would send you back every second weekend. Yeah, a couple of packs of biscuits, biscuits or something, like Jersey creams and bourbons or something. Did did ask to biscuits, biscuits or something? And Nothing too like fancy. But they could just and frequently did just kind of come over take and just say, "Just give us a few biscuits." Yeah, yeah. You just see your your stock you know going down all the yeah. time and usually you'd have them rationed out for maybe two or three biscuits a day or whatever that's what kept you alive in and, and you weren't allowed to yeah. go up during the day to get the biscuits no. otherwise they could impose a they'd, if yeah, they caught three, you they'd impose the fine. fine yeah you weren't allowed upstairs during the day and if you were caught you could get in trouble because it was basically a way to stop it was a five stealing. a five pound fine yeah which is a lot of money for us then like yeah like you'd have to ask your folks for the, <laughs> for yeah. the money there was I, a, got, I got caught one time upstairs uh, myself and Carl we were yeah. in our cubicle we uh, we went up to you in the middle of the day you could ask permission to go up but you, they didn't like giving you permission and you'd have to ask permission after dinner but uh, we decided we'd just skirt up and skirt back down again grab a pack grab a few biscuits and then I think it was Father Bradley came in we could hear him coming in the door with the big door and I was like you'd be li- you'd hide under the bed and I said I said to Carl He's in now. Like we're gonna get, we're gonna get, we're gonna get done for this. You know, you you, you were probably gonna get a few slaps as well. Yeah, like, yeah, you get, you get the stitch. Yeah. So, a stitch for people who don't know is like a, a slap, an open face slap across the face. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it could be, it could be uh, backhand as well. It could yeah. be backhand. Yeah. yeah. So I said to Carl, like he's coming around the corner now. We're gonna get, we're gonna get done. We're gonna get nicked. 
and uh, he was like, what do you think we should do? And I said, I don't know, we just, I suppose we're just going to have to take it. Yeah. And then, <laughs> just before he came around the corner, I just dropped to my knees. You know, like he'd heard, he'd heard us in there. Yeah. He'd heard the door close. Yeah, 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 I yeah. just dropped to my knees and rolled her in my bed. Yeah, yeah. And I just stood there like fucking ages. <laughs> and Bradley came in and he's like, uh, Ah, I've got you now, I've got you now, you know. <laughs> he really, he really was, got fucking really pleasure good. from catching people. He was yeah. a prick. Yeah. And then you got away with it. Oh, I had a few biscuits. I think I had a few of Carl's biscuits <laughs> when I went downstairs. Ah. Oh, man, that's funny. Yeah. I remember the, we, we, in first year, we, we had a study. You would like, our, our morning was like, talk, talk about our day. You, you would have to study a lot. We, like, study would start at ten past five in the evening. I'm trying to put a few more bits of turf in there. Uh, keep this fire going. Brendan's lighting a fire for this special occasion. Good, good 15 year old turf. Look for turf. Fucking hell, that's nearly calcified. Fucking hell. And it's like seriously. It's like a, it's like a gel ignite. It's like a piece of coal, isn't it? Is it going to explode? Go on, suck it in. Do, do we have? Um, we'd have three and a half to four hour study every night. From, from ten past five till half past six, from quarter past seven, break for tea, from quarter past seven to half past eight, a break for quarter of an hour, from quarter to nine till twenty-five to ten. Every night you'd have three and a half to four hours study. And we used to have it in a classroom, but when you when you were in second year you're brought up to the study hall. It was a big giant study hall and there was about two hundred people probably in it. Was it? It was in the classroom in first year. Yeah, do you not remember? Okay, we had yeah, prefects yeah, yeah, in yeah, there. Yeah, prefects, yeah, that's right. Did you have Scunner? But in the, I remember the first, the first day, first week in my in, in second year yeah. in the study hall. So you'd have pure silence, and there was like a priest sitting at the back on a kind of a pulpit yeah. kind of a yeah. place, and he would be looking down the whole time, and like you know, it was it was very long. It was maybe forty meters long. It was a, it was a yeah, big yeah, long yeah. hall, like. It's a big statue of Jesus in the top. In the top corner, yeah. Corner, and it yeah. was a big height. It was like a the ceiling was at least twenty foot high. It was a two story yeah, ceiling. Beautiful building, actually. Yeah, it, was, it was, was actually it was a really nice building. building yeah. yeah. And I remember I was sitting beside somebody the first you know, I was sitting beside I shared where I sat beside I think a, a fourth year, I think I was sitting beside and like we were so far away from him, I was just thinking, that that priest could never fucking hear me talking here. And yeah, I was like yeah. whispering, I was like you know, and your mom was like saying, shut up, you'll get fucking caught. He was in, and I'm saying, oh, uh, how do we get caught? Well, father, the tractor Gaffney, he came down yeah. and I didn't know. And your man was like kind of digging me. He could, he could sense that the priest was coming. And Gaffney came behind me and he hit me. He was a big, strong fucking, yeah, he was yeah, called yeah. tractor for a reason. He was a and bull was, of a man. He was young, he probably would have been in his he, 30s like, you know. Oh, even younger, I'd say he was late 20s, 20s yeah. 20s. And he hit me with a full swipe of an open hand. I didn't even know it was coming. It hit me across the ear. I didn't. I didn't know what the fuck he breathed. He nearly knocked me out with this hit. And I went. I was like, kind of, what the fuck? And I turned around and then he hit me with the with the other hand back the other way. Mm. And I was like, fuck hell. And he and I had to sit on my knees. I had to go on my knees then for like that was probably half five in the evening. I had to be on my knees then for like the next whatever yeah. till half nine at night. I remember getting such a fucking shock. I never. I did not expect that. So the priest would hit you. It hit you a belt. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't that it wasn't, bad. It wasn't, I didn't it find it that okay, bad it at the time. It wasn't intended to basically immobilise you. It wasn't to kind of, but it was... To control you. It was mm-hmm. It was basically, uh, yeah, it was like let, letting you know who was in charge yeah. and letting you know that there was a certain amount of corporate punishment uh, still still that. allowed, even yeah. though it was banned from... Probably it was banned. From yeah. the 70s from yeah, the I'd say so. And you would, like, they would also put you on your knees. Say, for example... They would wig you. Oh yeah, they would get, lift, grab your car, grab the grab the your, the, your, the, the locks by just your lock. by your ear, and they would lift you off the ground by that. I do you remember? I don't know. We had a teacher who's now the president of the school, and I disliked this man intensely. I think it was mutual. <laughs> <laughs> he was our he was our he was our maths teacher, and I you know I did a maths degree, so I was good at maths, and I was a smart. I I didn't like him, so I tried history. to make his history fucking, too. History too, yeah. And religion, and and I, I, I did not get on with him. And I used to, if he would make, he would do a long, complicated sum of the board, and I'd let him do. He'd have made a, pro, a mistake at the start, you know, just yeah. made a small error or something, and I'd let him go all the way through ten minutes, and I'd put my hand up, and I'd say, "Yeah, you made a mistake right there at the beginning, Father." And he'd, he'd lose it with me. He gave me a wedgie one day. 
in, yeah. in, in class. Don't remember that one. Yeah, he lifted me up out of the desk by my underpants. Really? I can't he, remember in particular what I did to him. He'd come in and he'd conduct the class from a radiator. The radiator would be kind of, uh, it'd be one of these big cast iron yeah, radiators. Yeah, yeah. And it was always on, and he'd be hogging the heat, like. But yeah. I remember one day you kind of got the idea that well, you oh, get the chalk, the chalk dust, the duster, yeah, on and the you white radiator. You covered the radiator, yeah, with white chalk dust, and he was wearing his black uh, priest outfit, uh, priest outfit, and uh, so you got you got uh, you got him back there. You went off to the staff room covered in. Co- the- he was <laughs> what? He came back in the next day, and he just and he ran was his finger, finger along. along, and I was like, I'm fucked here, and then and it was gone. There was nothing left. Do you know where I actually did it as well? I put it as well on the back. He used to stand on the wall behind, between mm. us, yeah. Talking about who used to stand there, we had this science teacher called Paddy Grace. Do you remember Paddy Grace would sit, stand by the radiator and get uh, an erection? Do you remember that? And, and what? <laughs> He'd get an erection. Do you not remember? He would stand by the radiator and he'd get a hard on. <laughs> And we'd all start laughing and we'd ask him, we'd ask him questions about like, about the, te- the penis or something, you know, we would be, we wouldn't even be doing biology that day, we'd be doing physics and we'd say, sir, when the penis gets erect, you know, uh, during the prior to the coitus, and he'd say, we're not talking about that now, and he'd come over and belch across the head with a boner, oh man. You'd be, you'd, be, you'd, be on the, you'd be working out something, yeah, doing some biology kind of diagram on the board and everybody yeah. would kind of inch. Inch a, inch, bit, or dress. Inch, inch a little bit forward every <laughs> time every, and then he'd turn around and he, he'd know something was amiss but yeah. he couldn't quite put his finger on it and then he'd go back to the board and, and just, by the time <laughs> by the time he finished we'd yeah. have surrounded him by the board arse. he wouldn't be able to get out <laughs> he'd be pinned <laughs> fucking he was a mad whore yeah and we used to also do that very annoying one where we'd all howl of our mouths shut and all hum but we'd only hum on the opposite side of the classroom to wherever he was mm. and he'd go who's doing that and he'd run over the other side and he'd move back over that way and then he'd just pick someone randomly and hit <laughs> some few scalps yeah I, well he like there were certain teachers who just whose classes he couldn't uh, he couldn't mess in like I mean they were like he'd go through you for a shortcut like yeah he'd, he'd yeah. Uh, the rumour was he got kicked out of St. Pat's for yeah. throwing a fella out of a first floor window. Yeah. <laughs> that was the yeah. rumour. He picked up one of the lads and who had who was in crutches with yeah. a broken leg. Yeah. Uh, Dunahy, do you remember? And he picked him and he dragged him across about four tables. And all he was doing was he was whispering before he came into the room. Yeah. And that was yeah. enough for him. And there was no, no messing with him. Like, yeah. Good teacher though. Yeah. Whose car was it? Was it his car that he, he used to... He used to have um, a rover, one a rover. Those fancy rovers. Yeah, he used to drive it up to the front steps of the school. Yeah, and some of the senior boys uh, made a big snowball and they rolled it up. Was it his car? Or was it somebody else's car? They left it behind his car. Well, he couldn't get so out. He couldn't reverse forward and he couldn't get back. <laughs> so I, I think he had that. to smash it. Yeah. yeah, but it was a massive big snowball. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But getting back to Biggles, though, didn't you do something as well to Biggles one time? Biggles' room was just above the yeah. front entrance, before the yeah. front entrance steps. And uh, so he, he had a really good lookout, like, yeah. you know, and he used to have... He was with binoculars. And he'd be, and he'd be fucking trying window. to catch it. I remember one time me and you were out Down near the, the front. Hall. And we, no, da- out near the front gate one time. And we would, we're you know, we'd be fights. so bored. We'd have we nothing to do. Stick fights and throwing stick fights. At each other. We were beating yeah. the shit out of each other with sticks. I mean, we really were beating the shit out of each other with sticks. Yeah. You know, we would be tearing and scalps mm. out of each other. It wouldn't be like, it wouldn't be fun. We'd be yeah, like you, fucking cutting each other and everything. We'd be ripping each other with yeah. sticks. Yeah. And uh, he was staring from binoculars and called us up and he was like going, which of you two like started this? And we were like, we, he called us up. We were like, what are we here for? And he goes, you were, <laughs> we do this every day. You're you're just, just, <laughs> you're, you're, I saw you hitting Mr. Fagan with the stick, beating him with sticks. And, and you were like, no, no, we were just having a bit of crack. <laughs> but we were probably to an unobservant like, looker. You'd think, God, he's absolutely killing this fellow with a stick. Yeah. But you, you got the idea one morning, like, was it, a, it was kind of frost on the front, uh, the front of the front fishes. Well, yeah. So you, uh, you, spe- you spelt out, letters. you spelt out his name. <laughs> it must have taken you, taken you about half an hour. Yeah. And he called me up and he, and he yeah. said, he said, well, what do you think you're doing out there? And I said, nothing. And because uh, he, he knew that his name was Biggles and I mm. obviously yeah. knew that he couldn't admit that his name was Biggles. Yeah. So he couldn't get me for anything. But yeah, he was See, that, I mean, that's that, that, like, you know, you get like, he didn't like you and no, you didn't like him. I fucking I mean, hated but there him. was, you know, there was a, there was a bit of, you know, you didn't, uh, you know, you give it, you served it up to him too. Oh, I, I was definitely yeah. served it up. Yeah, I served it up to him. Yeah, definitely. 
No, I, I did everything in my power to irritate that man. Uh, how would, who's the religion teacher? Oh, was it Minnock? Was it Minnock? Oh, Min- oh, yeah. We had a very, we had we, kind of a monkey kind of a guy. Yeah. Min- teaches Irish. Yeah. So he, he, religion. He, religion would be, he kind of go into a lot of kind of ecumenical stuff. Like, he'd go into a lot of... Uh, oh, natural law, Aristotle yeah. and... Stuff and Thomas that he learned in the and, seminary and causes of, you know, what, what a just war is and... and, and uh, yeah, but like as well above our pay grade, we don't clue. He used to, he did he one. He used to kind of crawl, crawl, he used yeah. to challenge him on a few things. He had yourself, this. yourself, and Henry Abbott. Henry Abbott. Oh yeah, yeah. Henry yeah. Abbott used to sit up front. Probably the probably one of the smarter people yeah. like in the class. Oh, he was the smartest. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, he, was very he uh he couldn't. He didn't have an answer answers to some of the questions. Any more red herrings, Tobe? Yeah, that's what he'd say to me because uh, I was Tom O'Brien. He called me Tobe. Any more red herrings? He was a he was sound actually. He did like, he did like... Uh, Throw a few more in there and open the bottom. Let's get it going. Open the bottom he there. He liked, um... Give me a few sticks. He liked it. No, he, 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 he used like, to do... He liked kids. Yeah, I know. He liked... He liked young He came, he went to our Debs and he went there and he had rollies and he was like rolling, was rolling cigarettes. cigarettes. Yeah. yeah. He didn't have a pint but he was sitting there just smoking like... No teacher nor priest would come. None of them would even be interested. Uh-huh. You know. And he, he came in and he sat in and all these 17 year olds acting the bollocks and being idiots. He was, a, he was sound. Even if he was like, uh, he could be narky as well. The poor man, he was overweight. He was probably in his 70s, right? I'd say so, yeah. Like, he's, he's a long time gone. Like, but I mean, he would have been up. The stairs in St. Finian's would have been like, one, two. It was eight, he, was eight, on the third, eight, eight. he was on the third floor. Was was top he? floor, I think. I think he was top he floor. Was, was he was, yeah. Mm. And like, for him yeah. to like, go up there must have been yeah. a fucking pain in the hole like yeah. every day, you know? So where was he? He was kind of he was he was positioned he, he was, was near the near the he was positioned uh, near the big dorm and the near the big dorm. dorm. But then, then the boys maybe with with brothers and whatever they were positioned along that corridor along where he was. Yeah, all the, all, all the small rooms was on, on the third and the fourth floor. All the middle rooms were all basically brothers yeah. and then maybe third year and fourth years. And you had yeah. small dorm was first years, big dorm was second years, uh, infirmaries was first years, and then prefects fifth years yeah. would be. Prefected all over. Would there have been, the there have been, there was definitely a half dozen of them in it. Was there, was there more? Yeah. No, there, was, there was six priests. So there was Tractor, Bradley, Rambo, Biggles, The Rod, and Minnock. Right. All yeah. on the same floor. No, no. Over two floors. Over two floors. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So they had big quarters. Well, the only two of them had big quarters. The two Pretty centre right. ones was yeah. uh, Rambo and, or Biggles and The Rod, and they had like large rooms in the centre. Yeah. That would be like, is he still Three living? or four times. He's still living there, is he? I'd say he might. Well, yeah, he might be in a. Par- yeah, he probably is. And did you ever get into any of their other their other quarters? Did you ever get into any other? No, they had snooker tables. Had? Apparently, they must. Have, they must have had a library in it as well. They obviously had a had a ref. Did some of the boys that were? Do you remember the, the library? If you went on to the pre, if you went on to the priesthood, you yeah. said that you were seriously go- about yeah. going into the priesthood. You would go. Oh, to you'd their, access to their library, would you? Yeah, but you would also you would also eat with them sometimes on on. Would the, you? Yeah. On God, s- that was a some good fucking some scam. Days. Do you think you could have pulled that scam off? Get the good food. Could you have done it? There was there was a lad about two years older than us, who used to he used to. I definitely remember he used to. I don't think you could put up with it though. Could you? Well, if you were kind of, you really were quite serious about it, like. No, I mean, if you were just trying to get better priest food. Yeah. Like, could you actually pretend you're going to be a priest for that long? I don't know. You'd have to keep up the pretense. Get up. The problem. The problem was that you were living there. Like, so there was no, there was no facet of your life that they didn't monitor. Or even when you're talking about the the, the ref there earlier on, like, you know, even as we were eating, there was a patrol. There was yeah. a patrol around yeah. the tables. Like, yeah. That priest was constantly walking yeah. around. Why I fucking don't know. You know, if you went to the study hall. You were monitored. monitored yeah. If you went to the pre, you went for night prayer in the evenings. Yeah. You were obviously there was a certain amount of monitoring, but you also had a prefect on yeah. the end of each seat. There's <laughs> a prefect in the fucking church. Yeah. Yeah. A church prefect. Yeah, yeah. Every, what the fuck yeah. was that about? Yeah. No, because the the church prefects were if like this how strict it was. There would be. A, do you remember having to do the job? Of, do you ever do the job of ringing the bell? When oh, I got stuck year. with the bell for fucking ages. <laughs> because <laughs> I, I I fucked it up one morning. Right, I got up late. Yeah. So. You know, I'm not a great timekeeper anyway, but uh, I, 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 I rang. You had to ring. You had to ring it all the way down the. It was this heavy bell, about yeah. two foot tall, and it really weighed a lot. Like 
you you like I remember my hands would would sometimes be like kind of bleeding a bit from the, having to ring it with the weight of the bell. It was like you would start to pick it up and then put it between your legs, legs. and swing it backwards and forwards. And it would like you would have a wooden to, handle on yeah, it. Yeah, and you'd have to ring it at the start of every class. And so first of all, you have to ring it at twenty five past seven in the morning, first bell. Then you ring it at thirty five minutes past seven, second bell, and then final bell at twenty to eight. At that point. You had to be in the in the church at twenty to eight. Mm. If you were one second late, you were written up. And if you were written up, I think they used to hold you back on the, right. the, the yeah, weekends. Yeah, 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 you wouldn't yeah. be able to go home yeah. for a few hours. It was very very strict. And lads would be hearing it. We we in, in in third year we were in the in the washrooms and there was the dormitory that was closest to the church. And you would leave it till the last minute. Heart yeah. prefect. Uh, Dinny, do you yeah, remember? Yeah, 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 and, yeah. and he would leave it or uh, two. I mean, two minutes to, and he would get up in a spasm, and he would manage to put some clothes on, and be dressed yeah, himself, yeah. and run down six flights of stairs, and he would always manage just to get in, like yeah, literally yeah, yeah, yeah. one second. And somebody, you'd ring the bell, and to give fellas a chance, you keep ringing it for forty seconds. You see all the yeah, stragglers yeah. trying to make it down. But I got stuck on that bell for a few a few days, like, you know. Kept on fucking it up, so, yeah. like, rather than taking it off you, which would be the obvious thing to do, this guy is, like, you know. He's getting a little bit of time management problems. 